Pepper. Pepper. Hi guys, it's Jess and welcome back to my channel. I am still filming in my master bedroom, but that's okay because for today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you my August favorites. And I did this video a couple of times earlier in the year and I can't quite remember why I stopped because I really enjoyed doing them. I think possibly because it was getting a little bit gratuitous, like just showing you all the things that I've bought. But I get so many questions on Instagram and social media about stuff that I'm wearing or doing. So I thought that it was probably just easier to kind of start doing these little roundups again. And I do enjoy filming them and sharing with you the little fun things that I found in a month. So this month I've got a couple of different things. I've got a few beauty things, a few fashion things, obviously a book related thing. Um, so yeah, let's just jump straight in. So the first one is a beauty thing and I get asked about my nail varnish all the time. I'm actually not wearing any at the moment because um, my nails got a little bit ruined when we were moving house. I take pride in the fact that I have my own nails. I'm often asked if they're my nails or false nails, but they're very, very weak and they have all just shattered and broken. Um, oh, it's just started chucking it down outside. <laughs> so they're really, really bad. So I've taken the nail varnish off, so I'm not wearing any at the moment. But my favorite color of the last few weeks is obviously a Rimmel color because I love their 60 second stuff. And it is 804 Naked Class. There, and it's just this lovely nude color. It's almost purple, but not quite but I just really love it. And you'll know if you've seen before that I'm just such a fan of their 60 second stuff. I basically have no time at all to paint my nails and this just works a real treat. So yeah, there is that. And then just at the very end of the month, I popped into Liverpool to do a little bit of shopping and I went into the Lush store and I only ever go into the Lush store like once every six months or something, but I wanted to pick up a product which everybody has been raving about recently and I'm sure that you will have heard about it and that is their Sleepy Body Lotion. And uh, basically it consists of lavender, flour and oatmeal and it smells so so strongly it's like this let me take the lid off it's like this purple color and everybody raves about it i mean i had several members of staff try and talk to me about how wonderful this was when i went into the shop and i have bought it for use predominantly with eli but also for myself and i haven't tried it out yet i put a little bit on my fingers yesterday and slept like a log but i've been sleeping like a log since we moved house anyway because I'm just so physically exhausted every day but yeah so I'm really interested to try this out but I thought I'd share it with you and then I'll let you know um, at the end of next month how we've got on with it but lots of people have said it's just a wonder cream and whether it's a placebo it's kind of you get a better night's sleep because you think you're gonna get a better night's sleep I don't know but I will update you on our success or not success in due course. Okay, and the next two things are fashion things, and I picked up quite a few bits for my Chicago trip, including uh, my Chicago 1980 t-shirt, but I just wanted to quickly show you two things. The first one is a top, which I did pick up for Chicago, and I got it from Primark. I don't know if you can able to see it. And it's just a really light blue, thin, uh, fitted top, but it has these huge, gorgeous poofy sleeves on it and they look pretty naff just like hanging like this but when they're on they actually look really really nice and this was from Primark and it was £10 and I got it in size 6 uh, because I find that their stuff's getting a little bit big actually so a 6 fits me just perfect but it looks absolutely gorgeous on with a pair of jeggings and um, I cannot wait to wear this um, out and about. I just think it's so cute and it's so different and you'd think that it would look a bit fussy um, having the fluffy sleeve, but it, the fluffy sleeves, the frilly sleeves, but it really, really doesn't. And then the other thing I didn't specifically buy for Chicago, but I treated myself to a pair of trainers and I normally just buy like the cheapest white trainers from Primark, they're about, like three pounds for a pair or something, because I know that it doesn't matter if they get wrecked, but I have recently, and I think it might be an age thing, but I've recently been noticing that um, I get kind of backache and footache at the end of the day and I think I need like proper padding in my shoes when I've been walking around and James has been on at me for ages to buy some branded trainers so that I can 
walk in more comfort which really makes me sound so old um but i anyway there was a there was a sale on and then there was a 20 percent extra discount on the adidas website so i bought myself a pair of gazelles and they are gorgeous and they are so comfortable to wear they are a little bit mucky now because i've basically been wearing them every single day since i got them but they are here so you can see they're a little bit dirty but they are this beautiful mint green colour with gold gazelle on the side and honestly I mean this tongue is quite strange to start with it's, it comes really high up your ankle and it's a little bit um, uncomfortable until you get used to it or until it's kind of moulded itself to your foot but honestly I have had nothing but compliments from random strangers since I bought these shoes and started wearing them on the colour predominantly but yeah they are so comfy and I think in the sale with 20% off I only paid like £40 or something ridiculous for them so loving these at the moment and the final fashion thing that I'm going to show you I've just had to take it off because I was wearing it and that is this Pandora bracelet that James bought me I already had one of these but I accidentally uh, ruined it because it's like a leather a braided leather um, and I got it wet and it got ruined so he bought me a replacement for our anniversary but I wanted to show you this charm and I'm really hoping that I'm going to be able to get the camera to focus on it because it is absolutely gorgeous it's a little reading charm so it has a little book and then it has some glasses on it and in the book if I can get it to open right there we go so it has the sweetest little message inside it says ignore the things you have to do and just enjoy a book or two let's see if I can get it to I'm still getting to grips with this new camera so let's see if I can get it to focus i don't know if you can see that but that is just the little message inside which is just it's just the cutest thing so you have the little book and then you have a pair of sunglasses and i'm having my other beads properly cleaned because they were tarnished and i don't really want to put the tarnished beads on with the new beads because um i don't want them to get wrecked but yeah i just really really love that and then finally, because it wouldn't be one of my videos if I didn't mention it, I'm going to talk about my favourite book of the month and that was The Dry by Jane Harper, although technically I finished this on the 1st of September, but never mind. Um, so this is a psychological thriller set during a drought in the Australian countryside and basically you follow a protagonist Fork who is a policeman who used to live in this small farming community but moved away 20 years ago following the death of one of his childhood friends and he comes back for the funeral of another childhood friend who is part of the Hadler family and they owned a farm and then the three members of the Hadler family wind up dead one day and everybody is pointing the finger at Luke Hadler who was our protagonist Fork's friend and so it's kind of just an unravelling of who really did kill the Hadler family. Was it Luke? Was it the fact that there'd been a drought and the farming community is really struggling? Was it somebody else? Um, versus kind of uncovering some things that went on in their childhoods as well as dealing with Fork in the present day. And I just really, really enjoyed this. It was quick, it was fast paced, it was gripping. I guessed only really closely to the end exactly what was going on, which I absolutely loved. It was just twisty and creepy enough for me. Um, I don't like anything too scary and this really wasn't. It kind of walked that perfect line for me and I just really, really enjoyed it. I would highly, highly recommend this if you like psychological thrillers. So there you go. They are the things that I loved in the month of August. Do leave me a comment down below and let me know anything that you loved in the month of August, whether it's a fashion item, a beauty item, a book item, somewhere you went, just absolutely anything. You know that I always love to chat don't forget to give me the thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and make sure that you click that subscribe button so that you can see all my future videos but as always thank you for watching and I will see you all soon